Mike, your thoughts on how you defensively you guys played to get like five sacks today? It seems as like everyone was just going after Donald a lot today. Uh, yeah, you know, all week dialed up the pressure. Obviously, moving guys around a lot. Um, I don't think they was used to seeing certain guys in certain situations, which we was able to draw attention in other places and other guys come free. So sometimes, you know, it might not be your day, but it might be other days which still helps the team out. It seemed like the most that you've moved between off ball and edge since uh, Demarcus got hurt. Just how how much fun was that having a more versatile role? Uh, extremely fun. Um, you know, this is the type of things we talk about. Just keep being versatile, keep moving around, um, keep the offense guessing, keep. Uh, Having them have to worry at where I'm at, uh, just trying to be disruptive all throughout the game. So uh, we want to keep working and keep getting better. What do you think about your boy Diggs? Looks like he's getting like two picks at night, it seems. Yeah, man, Diggs is balling, bro. But you got to remember, like, I mean, we talked about this in the preseason. Uh, you know, a guy that comes in every day, competes. I mean, if you've seen on Hard Knocks, this guy challenging Coop, you're not going to catch a ball, you're not going to catch a ball, wants to be on the best receiver wants to compete with these guys. and I mean, it's just showing up on Sundays now. I mean, it's, it's something I expect from Diggs at this point. You know what I mean? I was like, Seven, I know you're going to get one. It's just a matter of when you're going to get one. Mike, uh, uh, talking to one of the Cowboys Hall of Famers this week, he says, you know you have a special something when it's 11 guys on the field, but they all function as one thing. Can you see that starting to happen with this team? Yeah, I mean, it all starts with trust. I mean, uh, and, you know, that comes in during training camp when we're starting to see we're going against the same offense that we're going to, that y'all seeing every week dominating, going up to field, rushing, passing. And we're like, man, we're doing – we way better. We've got these pieces. And we was like, man, if we just communicate, if we just work hard, we're going to be a great defense. And I think every week we just keep getting better, keep trusting each other, knowing when to lock in, knowing when to – uh, get silly like this. Like we all hang out now after practice and stuff. You know, what I mean, this type of team and uh, bond that we we build in here. So I mean, we could say that the uh, team chemistry is real high right now. What's your impression of what Osa and Chauncey have been able to do these last couple of weeks? I mean, uh, Osa, that's my dog. I mean, from week one, we was coming in as rookies. Uh, obviously. You know, have a great opportunity to start here. And we both say, you know, we got to be dominant factors and play our game. Um, I think they're doing a terrific job every day in practice. We always push each other, uh, guys that I like to hang out with. And, you know, uh, they're just going to keep getting better and keep making huge roles on this team. Thanks, guys. Uh, how would you characterize playing for Dan Quinn? Uh, man, I love playing with Q because, you know, when he sees something's not working, he's not scared to go to something else. And if that's not working, he goes to something else and something else. Like, there's just so many ways he'll use you. I mean, when I'm looking at a coach and I'm looking at a guy that comes in every day smiling, you know, always boosts up players. He's always telling you down. Real players coach. I mean, treats you like, like a player and, you know, treats you like a player and a son, I would say. So, you know, I'm really grown for the guy. I mean, this guy's a great dude, helps me every day. I mean, goes out of his way, too. Like, you just need to talk to him just about life, Sorry, and he'll come talk to you. you so, uh, I mean, Q's a great dude, though, man, I, and I really appreciate him. I know you said you want to play a lot, but are you getting used to your snap counts now? Yeah. Or is that still hard for you to kind of? I'm getting used to my snap counts, I mean. I mean, I'm, I'm working so hard in practice that it's just translating to the game. So, I mean, when you're doing a lot, you got to work a whole lot harder to understand it. So everything with me is full speed every day at practice. So, I mean, and it's just translating pretty well for me. And what I just does got the conversation keep... look like with DQ when, you know, when he says, this is what I want from you this week, this is what we think we want you to do in game plan? It's just yes, sir, no, sir. I mean, there's nothing that he could – bring up to me that I wouldn't do for him. That's the type of love I got for him. I mean, somebody go down, I go back to end mid-game. He said, you ready? I said, bro, there's no question. Like, let's finish this game. Like, I mean, there isn't going to be no hesitation with me because that's the type of trust I have in him and that's the type of trust he has in me.